One of the new elements in Archicad 11 was the worksheet tool. This is an additional 2D environment that complements the detail tool. It sits in the document part of your toolbar and this is the icon for it here. Now there are two ways of creating a worksheet and that is if I right mouse click in the navigator and just right click and it says new independent worksheet I can click here or I can use it similar to a detail marker so once again in my info box I've got all my settings but I'm just going to double click on the throbbing icon and once it opens up here's the name of this worksheet that I'm about to place and I can also give it a name I can create a new worksheet viewpoint make it linked to another marker or place it as an unlinked marker we can also copy construction elements only now what this means is by default when you create a worksheet it copies all the 2d elements including text and sections and elevation markers if I check that it will only copy the construction elements only when creating a worksheet based on the source model it's similar to creating a model based detail the worksheet is actually optimized for creating partial floor plans and or partial sections. Unlike the detail tool, the worksheet tool has a single click capture geometry method which produces the entire contents of the current window as 2D elements in the worksheet. Consequently, when transferring all or part of a source model view to a worksheet window, the annotation elements will by default appear in the resulting worksheet. In addition to construction elements, exploded into 2D components. In contrast, a detail viewpoint created from the model will by default contain the 2D only copies of construction elements only without the source model's annotation dimension elements. So the resulting worksheet will have the same scale as the source. In contrast, a detail is created by default at half the scale of the original. These of course can be altered in your settings later on. So let's just quickly have a look at how that works. We'll just close this palette because all the items under marker are identical to the detail window and other tools, the section window, they're very similar. So I'm just going to ignore those because they're pretty self-explanatory. So if I push OK, now we're going to draw a worksheet. So I've got it selected, I've got the geometry method, and I'm just going to draw a little worksheet over that area there. Now it's asking me to place that. I might just link it to here. Now as soon as I do that, in our project navigator, we can see the specific icon we've got there. We've got worksheet drawing. See the icons are different for an independent worksheet. You can't quite see that because it's off to the right hand side. It says W01 worksheet independent in brackets and this one says worksheet drawing in brackets. So if I double click that, we can see here's a 2D representation of the model that we just drew. As soon as I click in the worksheet area, we can see that all our design based tools are grayed out, so we can't actually use any of those. There's obviously 2D tools in the object tool, that's why we can still access the object tool, but all the design based tools are grayed out. So I'm just going to collapse that and leave that so we can see the worksheet tool. Now, we can see it's at 1 to 100, but if I close that and go back to the floor plan, and I'm just going to push Control Z and undo that, so I'm going to delete that. This time I'm going to place a couple of section markers through this building. So I'm just going to draw a section marker. It's quite a bit outside the boundaries of what I'm going to create and I'm also going to put some dimensions on this area here I place it right up here and now I'm going to create the worksheet so I'm going to click on the worksheet tool again I'm going to use the same placement method but I'm only I'm still only going to put a bounding box over this small area. Now we can see that the dimensions are outside, the section elevations are way outside my bounding area. However, when I click in my navigator and open 
W03 worksheet drawing we'll be able to see that the dimensions have come and the elevations have come through and these are still linked to the model so if I right mouse click there I can say open section and it will take me to that particular section so that's a particularly neat feature of the worksheet. Stefan Langella from our Sydney office also showed me a neat way to use the worksheets to XREF DWGs in. So first of all I'm going to open Stefan's project and illustrate this handy little tip. So what we're doing here is actually XREFing a DWG file into a worksheet as opposed to just the regular working space in Archicad. So first of all we're going to create a new independent worksheet. I'm just going to go to the worksheet tab, right mouse click and create a new independent worksheet. I'm just going to create that and then go to file, external content, attach xref and then from here we can actually place a new xref onto this worksheet. The advantage to doing that, I've already done that right here, here is a DWG that has been XREFed into this project. The nice thing about XREFing into the nice thing about XREFing a DWG into Archicad rather than just importing it is that if this is at all updated in the other 2D program, then this will also update. So that's one benefit. But then the other benefit is that if you bring it in and if I go to the control L or Apple L in the layers when you bring an XREF in now new for 11 the XREF layers are all kept separately and they're all got X in front of them so that's a handy feature and of course once it's been XREF in there if I go back to the ground floor I can click on my ghosting layer or my trace and reference and choose the structural ground floor worksheet. So now that's behind. So if I just grab the original drawing we can see that the XREF is sitting there behind it. And if I select the visual compare, the slider, we can actually make sure that all the elements line up. So I find the worksheet particularly valuable place to import DWGs instead of cluttering up your regular workspace.